on. Yeah. Yeah. The car on side. Right there on that bench up there. Right. Hello everybody. Thanks for coming out to Corn Farm this afternoon. Beautiful weather. I can't believe after yesterday being so warm, uh, we were really blessed today with this gorgeous weather. Um, I just want to do a couple introductions first and then I'm going to hand the microphone over to Tom. Um, we have our board members for the foundation are, are here today. Uh, Laurel Garza is here. If you could wave for us. She's in the back. She's been helping. Uh, Denise Morgan has been running around. Uh, myself. Uh, David Corrin. Everybody knows David. Right? There he is. <laughs> Rick Ekstrom. Rick is back here. Uh, Dr. Ned Corrin. Ned. There he is right here. Uh, Allison Corrin is up front. Uh, Denise Burrow is right here in front. Uh, John Cooper. I don't know if John's here today. I don't see him. Uh, Judy Armand. No. Oh, and uh, Susan Bless. Susan? And, uh, t of course, Tom Korn standing right here. And a couple other people I'd like to introduce. Uh, uh, Christian Bassana is here from the Campton Town Board. And uh, Patsy Smith is here from Campton Hills. Right here in front. And, uh, and then uh, Barb Onicki. Is Barb here? Barb, oh there she is, our Kane County board member. So if I missed anybody, I apologize, but we've got a few, quite a few people out here today. So thank you very much, and I'm going to turn the microphone over to Tom. Hey, thanks, Neil. Welcome everybody to the 175th anniversary of the Corn Farm. 175 years ago, um, it was well, it was October 1st that Robert came here. He was uh, 19 at the time out of uh, Virginia. He and Joseph, an older brother, uh, well he had a couple other brothers and a sister, and Robert and Joseph weren't very happy working with their father. Their father ran a tavern back in uh, Virginia, and he and his mom, uh, well, Joseph worked in the tavern for a while and they got dissatisfied with that. and, and uh, they decided to head west. Joseph went to Michigan and met up with his uh, stepbrother, or uh, not stepbrother, his uh, brother-in-law. And uh, then he, Joseph came to settle in South Elgin. It was Clintonville at the time. So Joseph got here in the spring of 1835. And then Robert came with uh, Joseph's wife. Hannah Tucker, he got here in a, with his oxen and, and wagon and met Joseph, turned right around, went into Chicago, they got married, came back, Robert lived in a wigwam over in the Meisner farm for a while, and then built a log cabin down that way, lived in that until about 1850, and then started building this brick house, and it took four years to build. He hired a carpenter, and when the money ran out, he waited until he got more money and then made more bricks. The bricks came from out behind the dairy barn. And uh, hun over 100,000 went into this house. The walls are double thick with air space in between. And it was completed in 1854. Now, Robert got married like in 1840 to Maria Eddy from New York. <coughs> and they had five kids. And. Uh, Maria died, what, 1879? And uh, then Robert remarried Barbara Ann Thompson. And that's where we come in. <laughs> they had one child, Robert Myron. And that's from Robert Myron came the Corins. Okay. So Robert Myron married Augusta Meisner in 1911. And they had three kids, Robert, Flora, and uh, Kelvin. 
So, and that's why we're here today is a dedication for them. Robert, Charles, Lucinda, his wife, Lucinda, Laura, Jeanette, Norton, and uh, my dad, Calvin. So, uh, Sally, why don't you come up and talk about the bench here. So, thanks to a generous donation from the Wasco, La do we have the Wasco Ladies Aid Society here? Do we have somebody folks? And they not only de donated money, they donated cookies today. <laughs> More importantly. <laughs> but Sally, talk a little bit about the bench here and some memories. Yes, um, the Wasco Ladies Aid were very generous and helped us purchase a memorial bench for mom and dad. 